Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Food Inventory Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And I am here today with a haul from the 99 cents only store. Now that particular store is, um, it's kind of like a Dollar Tree but they do have items in there that are more than a dollar. So it could be two, three, four, five, but everything that I picked up today was just a buck. So let me jump in and show you what I picked up. So my parents will be in town to visit Harrison, and I know that my mom likes these Quaker baked flats, cranberry almond, so I grabbed two boxes for her. And then my dad likes um, grits, and so this is a 22, 22 value pack, and it has a variety of flavors, original, butter, cheddar cheese, and country bacon. Then I was really excited to see this frozen entree, a frozen entree by the Pioneer Woman. You know, this is big in the stores now, and I could not believe it was 99 cents. They had green bean casserole, which is what I got, and then they also had a cauliflower broccoli casserole as well. But I didn't get that because neither Howard nor I care for cauliflower, so I got two boxes of the green bean casserole. They don't expire until May. Um, I am going to put this in my freezer outside, and so let me show you what it has in there. Bacon roasted red peppers in a creamy cheese sauce with bread breadcrumbs. And here is what the picture looks like. I got two chimichangas. Now normally I get the beef and I think it may be cheddar, but I didn't see that this time. I don't think I've had the chicken and Monterey Jack. Um, so picked up two of these. These will be a quick lunch for me during the week. And then I also saw these noodle cups that I have never seen before, this particular flavor anyway. So I got two of the noodle soups and they are kimchi flavored. I love Korean food and I love kimchi, so this sounds right up my alley. I also saw this Minute Maid blueberry lemonade and it expires on March 31st. Howard really likes lemonade. I like lemonade too, and I like blueberry, and I thought this sounded like a pretty good combination, so I wanted to give that a try. I also saw this, which I've never seen. Um, this is Martinelli's 100% apple grape juice. So I've seen the um, just the apple juice bottles like this, but I've never seen apple grape. So I picked up two of those. And then, this is definitely a throwback to my childhood. These planters cheese balls, I couldn't believe they're back. So excited to see that, so I grabbed, um, and Howard said he likes these things too, he remembers them, so picked that up. And then I picked up two bottles of this Classico, or jars I should say, of this Classico Bruschetta basil and tomatoes. And so, let me see if I can show you. It looks really good. You can see how chunky it is. So I don't actually use bruschetta as bruschetta, meaning I don't put it on toast. I use it as a pasta sauce. So if you really like a chunky, flavorful sauce, um, that's a tip I wanted to share with you guys. So we would have this, I'll serve this as a vegetarian meal with some spaghetti and then toss it with this sauce and it's delicious. And then the last thing I picked up is a non-food item. I got this for Harrison with his cute little self. I just thought these Easter Bunny ears were so cute. Um, he's gonna look so cute on cute in them um, for Easter. And so they had different colors. They had blue and pink and you name it, they had it. So anyway, this is what I picked up at the 99 cents only store. You guys may not know. Um, that I am working on my freezer, pantry, and friz fridge. So I didn't wanna go super crazy buying a bunch of stuff that I didn't need. But the stuff that I did pick up, I thought was too good of a deal to pass up, especially that Pioneer green bean casserole. So anyway, this is all that I have today. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I hope that you'll do so. And we'll see you guys next time.